Welcome back. Today we're gonna to review another awesome vintage SUV on Bring a Trailer. But first, before we launch into today's example, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trey and this is Vintage Four Wheel Daily. Each day we highlight a special interest vintage SUV on popular auction sites and give you pointers from a buyer's perspective, what to look for and what to avoid. Our hope is that this simple daily format encourages interaction with viewers on vehicle condition and ending price points. Starting today, we have a 1994 Land Rover NAS Defender 90. So we should probably start out with what does NAS mean? NAS means North American Series, and that was the three years of Defender 90s that were imported into the United States from the UK. We'll get into more detail about the differences between three years later in the video. This 94 D90 has a low 38,000 miles, a five-speed manual transmission, which was standard on all of the Defenders in 94 and 95. The truck is finished in a beautiful 2A yellow paint over gray cloth and vinyl upholstery. This one's located in Medina, Washington. Right now, we've got two days left on this auction. There are 11 bids to $57,000, and currently there are 17 comments on the auction. These D90s have been special interest vehicles for some time now. But what's interesting is that the current bid of $57,000 is almost exactly the inflation-adjusted cost of this rig in 94, which was $27,900. It's pretty cool. From a pro's standpoint, this is a NAS Defender that's numbered 1866 out of 1943 U.S. NAS version. There were also 87 additional NAS Defenders imported to Canada, bringing the total to just over 2,000 units. This is also a very low 38,000 mile vehicle. It has long-term ownership. The current owners own this for 10 years, and the seller put in the comments that it's also been stored in a climate-controlled garage the length of the ownership. It's also an awesome color. I love the 2A yellow. From a work done standpoint, it's listed that the muffler's been replaced, the brake fluid's flushed in May 2022, and an oil change was performed in May 2022. From a cons, what's listed in the auction, the driver's side speaker cover is missing, console trim surrounding the hood release is cracked. Like I said, these are really minor issues. The only thing I would call out is that the car's only been driven approximately 1,000 miles since 2014 when the seller purchased this D90, so I'd make sure that there isn't any deferred maintenance required. So taking a look at the Carfax, the Carfax shows great history since new, all in the greater Seattle area, which is a plus. Why is that good, you may ask? Well, Washington cars are desirable because they're known for not having surface and undercarriage rust. Before we look at the pictures, let's take a look at the comments here. So we've got 11 bids, currently at 57,000. Like I mentioned earlier, 57,000 is just the inflation adjusted cost of this thing new in 94. It's pretty cool. Scott London says, I have one in green that I bought in 95 in San Francisco. This one looks amazing. Awesome. Hey, Scott London, I'm jealous of you. If you still have that vehicle, that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got? Got a comment here from Wagon Boy TD. Someone can live out their she's all that fantasy this summer, albeit Freddy's was a 95 same though. So at the time, these defenders were pretty commonplace in Hollywood. He was talking about She's All That, the movie. I also remember, I believe there was a Coniston Green 94, maybe 95 in 90210. Pretty cool. So putting Hollywood aside, he also brings up a pretty good point. This looks pretty great. The hinges tell us this. You can always tell it toasted 2A by its door hinges. This is something we'll look at as we go through the pictures here. Just I assume he's referring to some corrosion or some sort of wear and tear on the door hinges. Otherwise, nothing really jumps out in the comments here. Let's just jump into the pictures. So two things on this. First, I just love 2A yellow, always have. This looks great in pictures. It looks even better in person. Second, I noticed this seller has a custom license plate Defenda. That's awesome. So from the marquee, picture number one of this 2A yellow Defender 90 with only 38,000 miles, this thing, it looks like it's in great original condition. Profiles of these 94 convertibles always look really nice with the step rails and also the sliding window. Now, a little history about the Defender 90 in the United States. We already talked about what NAS means, but there were three years. There was a 94, 95, and 97 Defender 90. Being the first year, the 94 was a bit eccentric. All the 94s were converted with the exception. Land Rover realized early on there was demand for a hardtop vehicle. So their solution was what was called a POE, a port of entry hardtop, which was a metal hardtop. 
This is different than the hard top on the 95 and the 97. And as POE or port of entry implies, this was actually a hard top that was installed at the port of entry in the United States. What's even cooler, all these POE D90s were finished in Coniston green with the exception of two Arliss blue and one white. Anyways, back to this option. The only additional options were the Bamini top and also the front brush guard. These were pretty basic. And like every good bring a trailer auction, you gotta have the close up. This really accentuates the 2A yellow paint. Another feature of these NAS defenders that was unique versus rest of world is the Safari roll cage. They just didn't have that in other countries. Another thing that was really unique to these defenders was the number badge on the back. Like we talked about, this one was 1866 out of around 2000 defenders. It's pretty cool to know your production stats like that. I've always had an affinity for these Defenders. I owned a 95 Arliss Blue station wagon. It was so cool. Really still wish I had that with the same mileage. When I had it at 32,000, obviously we'll see the numbers on these. Definitely some big money. Another exclusive option on these Defender 90s, the trailer hitch. Like I said, these were very basic utilitarian vehicles. This is actually very interesting. You see the exhaust here with a new tip. I did notice earlier in the auction that the original exhaust tip that they showed was it looked corroded and had holes in it. So I don't know if these pictures are from two different times. Definitely something worth inquiring about with the seller. These alloy wheels were standard on the Defender. I think they were also on the early Series 1 Discovery as well. I don't exactly know what we're looking at here, just under the steering wheel. It looks like maybe some of the paneling has fallen down over time. That would definitely be something I would ask if I was interested in purchasing this vehicle. There we are with the odometer shot, currently at 38,140. It looked like on the Carfax in 2014 when this seller picked the vehicle up that it was around 37. So like I said, it has not been driven a whole lot since purchase, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And what we're seeing here is this is definitely a three pedal Defender manual transmission, a little bit of history. The Defenders, like I said, 94, 95, and 97. 97 was the only year there was an automatic transmission, which is also why for many enthusiasts, the 97 is the most desired of the three years. This one also has the Land Rover Genuine all-weather floor mats, a nice addition to these Defenders. The 94, 95 Defender had a 3.9 liter V8 as standard equipment. Here we are, picture 124. This is the consummate undercarriage picture. Like I talked about earlier when we looked at the Carfax, this is a greater Seattle vehicle, so I don't expect a whole lot of rust. So to recap, this is a very low mileage 1994 Defender 90 convertible. It's finished in the very desirable 2A yellow. It's got a great ownership history in Washington, known for not having any rust. And we definitely saw that with the undercarriage pictures. And it seems like sellers taking proactive steps to address any maintenance issues. I think this one should do well. From a pricing standpoint, Bring a Trailer shows 33 completed auctions of 94 Defenders in the last two years. The high point was a refurbished Coniston Green convertible that went for 112 in January. With this vehicle being stock original condition, I think a better comp though would be a very nice 94 with 37,000 miles finished in Coniston Green that sold for 101,000 in January of this year. Based on this condition, I would expect this 2A yellow to go in the same range. So what do you guys think about this Defender auction? We'd love to hear your feedback on pricing and condition in the comments. Also, I should note, we're a new channel and if you like the video, also make sure to like and subscribe. This goes a long way to inspire the creation of future content, especially since we have the goal of reviewing these auctions daily. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow for more vintage four-wheel drives.